So I'm on a little bit earlier because I want to see if I can find, you know, something a little earlier. And if there's nothing, back test the time frames that I am interested in. Um, so let's take a look at the, um, the higher time frames and where we are in the grand scheme of things. And uh, basically do some AM before 8 p.m., 8 a.m., sorry, <laughs> no, tape reading, all right? All right, so let's get tiny. All right, first things first, let's see where we are. So, uh, so the look back, and the look forward or whatever. <laughs> Kitty wants attention. Um, so the highest high for the last 20 days is this. We took that out nicely. The lowest lows all the way down here. 40 days, the highest high is here. And we're still, approximately, still looking to come up. We have respected this bearish order block and um, dropped bearish order block, new week opening gap. I mean, kind of makes sense. I guess in hindsight. So in the first 20 days, we haven't quite made it yet. So waiting to see what happens if it takes something out or it shifts below um, a low to um, start looking towards taking out something else. 40, 60 days. So right now, looks like we're trying to dig back into this, this wick right here and coming down into these other new week opening gaps that were that was a big mission of annoyances in this general vicinity the dixie decided to go up and it took out the buy side i outlined um that one as well so that's where we saw that drop so let's take a look at um um yesterday's intent so, sorry, this is the new week, the gap that opened on Monday. So, in the afternoon session, I had this short idea set. We can take, take that out. We've, we've cleaned that out. And I was expecting the buy side, sorry, the sell side to be taken, which it did. And my short, um would have been nice. So let's take that off. But that buy side has been taken, so let's clean that out. But I was not very successful in my entries, so I had I took two two lower two stop outs. And now I'm only down to $50 above my 20k. So gotta come back in. The sell side is taken, so let's clean that up. And leave that. So it looks like at least on the one hour, let's let's actually dip up to the four hour and outline a few things, right? So we're dipping back into this this wick, and I don't even know what to call this shape. You know, we've obviously been curling upward for quite some time, if we like zoom out and we're looking, we're trying to eventually get up to here. So the price action for the last two days has been somewhat incomprehensible for me. Let's do this. So we had this candle on Tuesday. We've broken the lows for it. This is Monday's the low. So if Tuesday's made the high of the week, maybe the profile is Tuesday's made the high of the week, it's bearish, and then we'll continue to, to come down to challenge. Well, this low is definitely in the crosshairs than that one and then potentially the rest of this candle. 
we, you know, technically have like a nice sell side at 4098 right here for folks who are still holding on to the, their longs from here. Personally, I've taken my profits and been happy. Okay. So I already outlined what's left of this um, Fair Valley Gap to be eaten. Uh, there isn't one per se in here. And got um, quite a candle. So I'm just going to focus on what's happening in this candle. I'm curious though. Let's zoom in a little bit and see how much of this wick we've come, we've cut into. So constant encouragement of this bigger wick is here. So I'm just going to note that as a potential target as well. Kitty wants attention. Um, right there. And just for funsies, let's see. We've definitely, most definitely, you know, busted through that one. So for for the day's lows, 4148.25 is in the cross ear, cross hairs. as one of the next areas of interest. So let's drop right down to one hour. And let's have a sell side on these two very equal lows. Definitely. There's the, the old low right there. So let's just note that one for now. And uh, uh, so weird. A break, it roll back into this fair value gap. Uh, this order block and dropped precipitously. So that's what this grossness is what we were dealing with yesterday. Most of the day and on the 15 minutes. This. So on the 15 minute, we are coming in. We have dug into this fair value gap. See how it behaves. And we've got this bullish order block right here. So We've passed like the midpoint of it on the fifth on the 15 minute last down candle. So I'm just gonna note it. Right here. So I'm gonna use one of my older ones. So it's it's dipped in. So if I were to I mean, it has to take this low up for me to feel like it's continuing down, but I mean, the, the trend is is pretty well <laughs> short at the moment, but it has hit a bullish order block where price did like, did, you know, pop up the last time. So let's, do, let's, let's see what we're looking at on the five minute. All right. So we're diving into this. Here we've got constant encroachment and there is new equal opening gap down here to be excited about. All right, so I'm not terribly really good at when it's just like a constant stream like this. So let's see, you know, shift, come back in to the order block, continue down, square value gap. Um, It wants to continue downward. It's a shift. Come back in this general vicinity. There's a tiny fair value gap right here. Nothing above it, and then drop. And then they're really close to the, the consequent question of that wick. So uh, I don't know if I feel like any kind of shorts in order. And 20 ticks would get us to just blow consequent encroachment. So let's cycle downward. Three, two, 
two, one. Okay, so for the most part, it looks like it's already, looks like it's already, so we have this sh shift here, got the Chevalier gap right here that I mentioned. There's an order block here. Uh, volume imbalance right there. So let's see how it behaves. Uh, as we had, that's taken out. Volume imbalance, fair by gap here. Oh, there's another one here as well. Let's see how it behaves. Could just tap it and go. It's a very bearish looking day. The Dixie, what are you doing? Well, let's be honest. Taking that out, you're thinking about other things. It's pretty bullish. Oh, look at that. Let's go back up to the five minute and watch this for a bit. Getting hesitant. Let's take a look. So I'm curious, are they in the same? Okay. There's the NASDAQ. Let's add, I don't know, sometimes trading view comes in kind of weird. Lows, give me a okay. okay. So everybody appears to be in lockstep. So we're working with the one minute volume advances. I don't know if I feel like they're super strong. My general preference is for a short from here, a ticks, and that will 21 ticks. We go to consequent encroachment, 23 ticks right there. So we've been on this slow trend. Does it look like it's, what is over here? Why is it over here? Hmm. And it's over here too. Is this some new weird thing I missed with, with trading view? All right, so given the current trend, let's set a limit order for sell at 4156 4156 and a quarter with the eight tick stop loss 4675 sorry and take profit at about since we know we have sell side below let's uh, say 22 ticks for the moment and let's see if it comes up to give us that. Now, what's kind of dangerous is the fact that we are in this demand area where they might want to turn, but everything is in lockstep. The dollar's turning around to come have a chat with this fair light gap. So let's test it out. We have gone quite far though, so that's, you know, there's no guarantee they'll want to come all the way back up here. Closed above that, so they don't care about that. Uh, there is a, there is a, whoa, did 
Did I miss that? There is a volume imbalance right here as well. So we'll see how they behave. Or to block eight takes. I'm risking eight takes for this, so. Uh, they're all over the place, these volume imbalances. Let's just say we we know it's there. So at the base of this, fair value cap right here. There's a, there's a smaller one up here. Like I said, no guarantee they'll come back up. In terms of Yeah, wouldn't do anything, but I'd have to get an entry up here. If they don't come back up, then it's just useless, useless cannon fodder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> So if it rolls past here, it does have a fair value gap right here. Mm, Kitty's hungry. Relatively equal highs here. No reason why they shouldn't come back up. I'm hoping they tap into this fair value gap and then drop. Shouldn't really hope for things, right? Just see what happens. <sighs> Let me open up my um, trading journal. Yeah, like I said, there's no guarantee they'll come back up. I'm not gonna force it, but So while we're waiting to see if we're going to go come back up, let's go take a look at seasonal tendencies for S&P. All right, so right now we're in, you know, so for April, about mid, uh, mid-April, looks like it likes to have a small pullback, but still, still relatively bullish. So we're at a point where it likes to pull back. So let's see if that's why we're doing that right now. Okay. And it's, it's Wednesday already. Wow. Okay. So 2 a.m. This must have tanked things. Us. And Cat has some mild stuff coming out. Mild, mild. Crude oil inventories at 10.30 for the U.S. Uh, nothing exciting. So we should have a relatively free day to trade. So let's work towards... Let's see what we're working towards. Amen. Now, what I should have also checked, since I'm, I am... Since we are inside of this thing... Did I get 20 ticks to where I, no? Okay, so if we're turning around, I needed to, I needed to, to pop up. If we're turning around, I needed to pop up and take out these highs and then give me something to continue back up from this um, order block area here. Oops. So let's watch it. Come back out. So, if we're playing devil's advocate, like we have buy side right at the top of this thing here. Actually, right up here is where I'd be thinking for a long, a long, um, uh, label that wrong for a long target, and then, I mean, sell side, of course, down here. If we, 
We've got the 15 minutes. The cell side's all the way down here ever already. So expecting it to come back up into this into this order block. Big fair value gap here on the 15 minutes. Hmm. I was wondering if I should have my entry a little bit higher up. Let's see. So we haven't come back into a premium, so I can't take it. See how they behave in here. So my entry's at the base of this fair value gap. There's another small one above it, so I'm thinking I want that entry instead. And then I can have that much above this thing. <sighs> Patience and all that jazz. Okay, so if we are doing a little aiming, a little, let's do this. So below is constant encroachment, 4148.75. We just hit this order block, for volume imbalance. Still gonna wait. Let's check another option. Here, see if we have anything. Oh, wow, they're all overlapping. So, um, if this is the cell side they're reaching for, then I could go for that. See if we can get away with that. If the short is correct, we've been going down for quite a while. We've hit an area of interest, so let's see. Okay. And I'll lock in 20 ticks. I'm not gonna let's see what these guys are doing here. Oh, are you, why are you on that side? Can I change that? Let's see. Why did it put it over there? That's annoying. All right, whatever. Just skewing my setup for my charts. So. Let's see. Uh, let me take off this and add it back in because that's going to annoy the... Every time I come back in the mornings, things are like sort of messed up for whatever reason. And then look, why is it like that? Made relative equal highs. I want to take them out. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's get the not here. Sorry. All right. Let's get the Nasdaq from here. Uh, the thing looks like it's moving in lockstep. That yeah, looks like it wants to turn potentially. And maybe I've missed it and I've been, my entries, we'll see. Well, this guy's taking its lows out. Nasdaq's 10 miles away from theirs. And we are thinking about it.
Feel the volume and balance in here. We haven't closed the body above this guy yet. We made ourselves relatively equal highs here. You look like only five minute. Mm. Equal lows here. Uh, and check to see if we were at like a breaker or something on the 15 minute. So let's see. Low, lower, low, trade it through. Oh wow. On, maybe. So if I were to specify that, let's see this body right here. Um, actually, Nessa, let's not use that. So low, lower, low traded through. So we're on a break around the 15 minute. Last up candle, it's bearish breaker, low, low, low. That was red candle. So this is like a bullish breaker right here. About 15 minutes. Assuming I'm saying it right. Huh. Let me look at an example. My brain is not. Yeah, so we're in a bullish breaker. We close below it. So the highest green candle. <laughs> so that's um my short idea is probably wrong. We're still inside the breaker. Ooh. And it's an and a demand area. Ooh, I might um, not be taking a short after all. Mm. Well, right now coming going with the trend. If we take this out, got this low, higher low. We haven't taken this out yet. Fair value gap. The Dixie is meandering. Why? Sometimes, do you guys notice that? Sometimes these things just don't show. So we've taken like equal lows there. And the NASDAQ is coiling upward. That's flat. Hmm. We are in a bullish breaker from previous, so I may be wrong, but the trend is so very downward. So we know we're in this fair value gap. Let's take that out. We know we'll be in a premium here. And then we're at the very base of this breaker and this order block. Bullish order block, bullish breaker. Uh, I might be, and let's be honest, it's been dropping for a bit. 
but we haven't taken anything out. So Nasdaq's coiling up. That's coiling up. And they're also sort of coiling up. Same scenario. Oops, sorry. The Nasdaq's taken out its high right here. Hmm. Oh, let's look at that again. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it was 15 minutes. Let's look at that again on the 15 minutes. So, we had a low, lower, low shift. Breakers, the high, the bullish breakers, this candle right here. We stay inside of it, which we seem to be respecting it, should be taking a long from here. If we drop down lower, then take that out and the breaker is invalid and that's that. It might just be in a downtrend to go back to that breaker or the very base of it. Hmm. Bullish order block, bullish breaker, inside of a fair value gap. We seem to be pausing. Take this out, then I'm changing my, I'm switching. This is pretty flat, it hasn't taken out its highs, hasn't taken out its highs. The NASDAQ's taken out its highs. And the Dixie is going back up. So my short's probably right. It's probably gonna drop. Just have to watch it very closely. And we are at a high time frame discount array. Mm. Mm. I think I will see how this breaker plays out versus taking that short. See how this plays out. And the NASDAQ has made its way to a volume imbalance and is dropping precipitously. Wheeling. I need to see some things taken out. So we were consolidating for a while, we dropped. 
consolidated. We came into this breaker. So let's see if the breaker does its job and gives us a long. Uh, let's take a look at. I'm still bullish. So my canceled order was for a short. From 4157.25, which is going to be up here. Now we're inside of this miasma, another volume imbalance here. Nothing tradable. This made sense. It just came up, tapped the fair value gap, and then turned. This tiny one here. Just note the bigger fair value gap from the five minute. Ignore the rest for the moment. So I tapped it, but we're still sitting around thinking. What's got me bothered is that we've hit this higher time frame setup. So we came into one of these. Uh, things to take into consideration, right? We've got this bullish order block right here. Breaker in there on the 15. And it needs to take this out to continue down to this guy. New week opening gap up here at 169 and one down here. Where are we in the grand scheme of gaps. Well, we're at a discount between the two. So either my shorts, right? I mean, it can only go one of two ways, right? <laughs> my short would have been right or my long. Either way, That's pointed upwards, that's pointing downwards, that's pointing upwards, that's turning around. So I feel like my long entry is not a bad plan. Let's see if we get something to corroborate that. Okay, here we go popping up. We need to turn, give it a good, a good show. Okay, let's see. So this is taking out its, its cell side. Uh, that's just cooling up. Is it taking out its, okay. It's cooling upward too. All right. And the Dixie's coming down. So we've laid a body above that. We don't care about it anymore. My original short entry was up here. 41.57.75 approximately. Relative equal highs. Let's take that out. Okay. So let's see, what does that look like on the three minutes? All right, so it's a nice a nice shift on the three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Okay, so shift, we have all of this. Okay. 
Liquidity void right here keeps going up. Let's see if my shorts right. So so my short would have been my entry would have been there. 21, 20 ticks was right there. With a eight tick stop loss right there. I mean, in hindsight, it looks really good, but where we are right now. All right, so if I were to take a long entry, we have a shift, void, fair value gap, shift. I mean, Doesn't look so convincing on the five minutes. It looks like it just came and tapped the order block as expected. Are we turning this into an inversion? <clears throat> Not. I mean, if it does, Long position would be came, we balanced it. 20 ticks is all the way up here. It's got to take that out. Eight tick stop loss, not bad. Let's see which of us is, because I'm of two minds right now. We've been on a downtrend this whole time, but we're in these juicy, juicy places, you know? We've got these juicy, relatively equal highs up here for them to come into. Excuse me. Immediately rebalanced here. That's taken out its highs. Shift. So. Yeah. I really do need to commit to something, right? Mm. Mm. Looks like the long. So six thirty. I'd feel better if it took this this out properly. But I should feel comfortable taking the long from here. Let's turn it into support and it's taken off. Now my original entry was here. For a short. Dixie mm. has made its own shift. Looks like it's coming down. Long entry should have been good. <sighs> That's up. What's the NASDAQ doing? Well, it's taking out its highs. Well, 614 highs. Six, yep, mm -hmm. yep. So there's the there's an expansion. We're into. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Looks like it's hesitating. So this short term high, I needed to I needed to break it. Otherwise, this is invalidated. And the Dixies. Let's take it out. At it's lows. Digging into this over block. Let's hear about you back. back. Where is that? So my long. It's been only five minutes. 
Needs, I need to see it break out of this. Order block. There's this wick here. Oh, let's take this off. That's already done. There's that expansion. That's why I was like, I don't know. Let me cancel the short because we're in this area and I should have taken it here. They decided to dig just into this first one, which coincides the low of this candle. 415575. The high of this candle is 415550. So I wouldn't have made it there. Given that I'm unsure about the direction, I didn't feel comfortable pressing the button. I should have felt comfortable with the with the long, but so we're stalling at what, like 10 ticks? I needed to get up to here. Take all this wick, very valley gap here. This, they haven't, Taking out this order block. I seem to be hesitating. Okay, so this fair value gap right here turns it into an inversion. It just busted, if it just busts through, taps it, and then goes. I don't want it to be like going nuts around it. That's ridiculous. That's good. Let's see. You need a proper move, you know? Ah, forming a volume imbalance on the five minute. Gotta trust these breakers when I see them. And Dixie's falling out of bed, man. Look at that. So we have this break on the five minute. What do we have above us? This, these relatively equal highs up there. So if I were to be somewhat facetious, let's do something like that with eight tick, 21 ticks above there. Let's see. Let's see how that works for us. So I'm gonna buy on this down candle as it comes down. Let's do that. Okay. And let's aim for these relative equal lows. And let's see how we do. It takes at least gives me some breathing room with this, this one down here, because they could come back down into this order block if they want to. But until they lay a candle below here, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Plus, we have this fair value gap right here. as well. Come on now. Mm. 
Looking to take out its highs right here from the 541 on the NASDAQ. So here. Let's see if I'm wrong. Take my fingers off of the trigger and let's just watch. Well, I will pull up the, oh, hello. Could have waited for that entry. Let me take that out. Well, maybe my entry is wrong. And maybe the short was right. Cause we haven't, we haven't done anything with that. Okay, see how it behaves in here, this order block. I'm gonna take my fingers off of it. I'm just gonna submit to it. If I'm right, I'm right, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I feel like my preference would have been for it to take this out and it didn't, so. My original short was probably the better bet. Dang. I'm below this volume imbalance right here. And there, there it goes. All right. So I think my entry might have been wrong. Should be here. So limit order to 415.25. Still think it's a, it's a long. Let me wait. So that's dead. Back inside the breaker. Still going down, so. So if I take it from here. Take from this order block right here. And it takes would put me there. There's a gap right here. I still think it's a buy. I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I lose another hundred bucks. So. Candle blow it. Oh, come on. Coming into that one. Just a limit order for it because it's all it's all down there. So my 
short would be working beautifully, at least semi-beautifully, at least. Mm. Come on, man, for real. All right, so I really should, my stop loss should be below here. Me trying to keep it at a hundred bucks, you know. Uh, it's hard. So with a 20 thing, my stop loss should really be 16 ticks. And I'm trying to test it without that. So, so we're below the breaker now. I don't want to go down very, very strongly. Well, that, that's meaningless now. The only thing left down here are these equal lows if it wants to take it. So far, the short is looking like it, but it's not rushing to take these out either. So, oh, what's the NASDAQ doing? It's taking out those lows. Dixie is looking to fall down again. And I need to really work on my entries. So above that, I really think they're gonna come up to this guy at minimum. I'll be trailing my stop up to match that, see if we can't get that. And um, let's do a little aiming. Oops, wrong thing. I need to get above that. this so if my let's say my buy side's here that's 41.62 relative if so we have buy side here here and here these this is juicy back into the new new, new week opening gap so let's leave it at there right there 36 ticks let's see if we can't get that. Should, my entry should have been down here. Silly me. Dixie is now uh, consolidating after its drop. Uh, NASDAQ is coming for its own highs. Mm, don't turn around. Oh dear. Just got to submit to it. My entry is imperfect right at this uh, area here. My expectations for them to continue on up to take this out. I need them to take this out to show some resolve. So I have here, here, 20 ticks from this entry is right there, just above this guy. So let's see. I needed to move with some gusto and not be so hesitant.
While we're waiting for that. Let me plug this in. <clears throat> All right, there we are. Oops. Make sure I'm never remind myself I'm never gonna have like the perfect entries all the time. Uh, tweet and share. Okay, took that out nicely. There it is, dropping down nicely. Nasdaq's taking its highs. We can clear that out. And the Dow is, come on, eight ticks and you're, and you're coming back out of bed. So my primary concern right now is the fact that they have not <clears throat> comfortably taken out this order block. Right here, still inside of it. Just to note it with this area here. So we took these guys out. Well, equal highs. So let's see if we can't be a little bit more decisive, eh? So we have this. Fill gap. I need them to bust through because there's this wick to contend with. It's consequent crouchments approximately mm, mm, the top of the order block approximately. So we need to bust through with some gusto. Then we have this fair value gap to contend with. These relatively equal highs that should be nice and juicy. Ah. So at this point, just waiting. Okay. I don't like that we haven't taken this out yet. I think we can turn and we're still in this order block. We need to we need to get above it. Otherwise so it's, uh, this choppy mess on the five minute. Four, three, two, and one. Daylight's approaching and this thing is this hasn't really moved. Where's the Dixie? Let's see. That's 555. Yeah, the Dixie's been dropping a lot for, quite, for a while. So, it, you know, we need to see the corresponding um, behavior from it. We need to get past this order block. Like, we need to get past it. I don't like how it's hesitating in this space right here. So 41, 61 is 20 ticks. So if 
I'm going to use what that that base that high 4162 would be something. Mm, I don't like the way it's behaving. Uh, too much. I'm still in that space where my short entry would have been a good plan. <laughs> I can't believe that. Look at this. Really? Come on, man. So, this at minimum, beautiful, juicy, relative equals. And it, if it gets up to here, I'm just going to have to move myself up. We'll see what we can do. I didn't get past this order block. It's crazy. Ah, Dixie's rising, giving us some some annoying resistance for a long. Consolidating. Honestly, given how much it's fighting it, I don't know that I trust this. You know, it's high shallowly as well. Mm -hmm. Just gotta submit myself to it and let it, because it hasn't moved it, to mimic what happened with, um, with Dixie yet in this order block. Am I overreaching? Should I should I just go for my twenty one ticks and be done? And take that and go on about my business. So now we have this order block being annoying. Or is I try to find five handles? So this is the cell side we're looking at. That's the closest to it. 
175. I'm going to pull the candle above that. There we go. But these relative equal highs up here is what I'm really looking for. So, still going to try for this. And once I get to 20 ticks, I'm going to try my stop up to 8. At minimum, I can deal with my, mitigate my, my one loss. So now we're at this fair value gap. Don't worry about that one. There is a volume imbalance here. If we're going to just move, we should just move. Which I could take like a partial off, but I'm only using one contract, so best I can do is just scale it up. So this is halfway to 20, a little more than halfway to 20 ticks. So I can probably reduce my, this is like on the five minute. All right. So another area of the volume and balance that it's creating on the, whoops. It's creating on the five minute. And it's really, really making us work for those, those ticks, aren't they? $25. Only for $250 at minimum. <clears throat> Coiling back up into, all right, so it's tapped pretty much all of this. What do you guys think? Should I just stick to my five tick and not try to go for the 35? Given the way it's moving, Probably not a bad plan. All right, let's see. I go to 21 ticks right there, 23 ticks. Let's see if we can get that. Even though, so we have, they're taking out by side here. We need to get past here. This guy expanding. There's just really juicy equal highs up here. It all depends on what the dollar does. Now look at that. This is a draw. So we're about we're about halfway up to it. Fighting this fair value gap. Ah, what's Nasdaq doing? Expanding. And the Dow. Thirteen ticks. Expanding up to take out its highs. This very light gap, we need to get past it. Inversion. I mean, at this point, I'm not going to let myself take any kind of a loss. There's a five minute um, bomb imbalance. Got this breaker. So I got an entry from down here, we'd have, we'd be in, we'd have a little more. Let's bust through. Okay, let's bust through and um, so I'm going to reduce my um, that. Let's see how it behaves here. I'm just thinking about it and continuing on up. I. I'm really tempted to close it, honestly. Instead, yeah. Just gonna put it two ticks into profit and watch it. 
I mean, come on. It's going to lay the candle below that. It had been respecting this fair value gap. Florida block. So, delete that. Honestly, I don't like this behavior. We rebalance that. Taking my hands off of the off of the mouse. Respecting this fair value gap. What does this miasma look like on the five minute? Oh, we still haven't, we still haven't closed a body below this volume imbalance on the five minute. All right. No. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so this is about to be invalidated. Like six seconds. All right. All righty. This has been support. Dixie is going up. So might take my five ticks and go on about my business. Like if it digs further into it. Because it did rally up a little bit. Smidge. Tiny smidge. Bomb and balance. Yep. You ready? Can, can you, uh, can we swap cars? My mom does not need to buy today. Can you figure out how I'm going to get to work tomorrow? Okay. All right, guys. I am unfortunately going to have to close this here. I will drop a screenshot to show how it went. I think I'm going to close it because 
the Dixie is climbing and the Nasdaq is thinking about it. Well, I might not touch it actually, I'll just leave it alone, I'll just let it do its thing. And uh, the Dow is going up, the Nasdaq's going up, sorry, the Dow's going up, pointing upwards. The Nasdaq is pointing upwards, so let's see. This thing right here, don't know how. And Dixie's come up into an order block, so let's let it play. All right, I gotta go move the car, so <laughs> either I take two ticks or I get 23. It's that simple. So, I'm gonna let that play and I'm gonna move the car. I don't like that it's been sitting here. It's getting rejected off of this tiny volume of balance. We're stuck at eight ticks. Should I just take my eight ticks and go on about my business with the Dixie? Just gonna just gonna let it play. I either get two ticks or I get twenty three ticks. That's it.
Okay, sorry about that. Look at this ridiculous. I've been watching it on my phone. All right. It's tempted to move me, my stop loss up to eight ticks just to have it. <laughs> Whoa, look at the Dow. The Dow is just like, I'm gone. The NASDAQ is slowly, and the Dixie is falling down, hopefully. And we are chopping sideways. So annoying. But took those out. That out, we need to bust past here. Four, three. Anybody who went long right here got shook out quite quickly. Two. One. Tiny volume imbalance. The Dow's just been plowing its way up. Ah. And the Nasdaq is Ah, uh, basically going sideways, like, yes, is there's some new, so I don't think there's any news, right? Mm. Housing starts. Yeah, we're well away, well away, we're away from that. Now we're just being annoying. I mean, honestly, with this type of behavior, I'm... It's too... Yep, I'm gonna get stopped out because I'm not gonna get 20 ticks with this behavior. Like ticks away at the moment, ticks away. Volume imbalance. They didn't do anything here. I think the most I saw was like 13 ticks or something, right? In this attempt. Oh, we entered, we entered lower and there, there it is. Well, Doesn't necessarily mean that the trade is wrong, it just means that I it's at this point we need to get out of here. So I'm gonna set an alarm for here for when it takes out takes this out. And we'll close this one out. Go on sixty one and then this guy. It's an alarm for down here as well. And it gets down there. And then just submit myself to that and be done. All right, well, we saw it here. Bad entry on the first one, not bad on the second, but it's too choppy. And if we're being honest, with a dollar coiling up, trying to go long is probably a very bad idea right now. We're back up into this order block. For if I get holding it down, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so happy hunting. Um, drop a like, drop a comment, uh, let me know your thoughts. Definitely not the right area to be trying to get in anywhere. Should should definitely should have waited for it to take out here or here, cleanly and then look for an entry. So maybe something will show up at 10. All right, Shakira out.